Yo guys, what is up? Jerome here, and today I am doing something I have really thought I shouldn't do for quite some time. I'm going to reveal my gold-making blueprint, the way I've made over 900 gold in Season of Discovery so far. These are methods that, if you do them, not only will result in consistent gold, fast gold, sales of 12 gold, 30 gold, 40 gold, 50 gold in your mailbox, day after day after day, these methods should continue to work for a very long time. I'm going to share methods that do not require open world farming. They don't require you to go into RFK and solo it by yourself or boost people in RFC. These are methods you can do with any character and they're things I do every single day. I'm going to share my absolute best gold making secrets. So stick around and let's make some gold together. All right, so before we get into the meat and potatoes, the methods that are going to make you so much money, we've got to have at least a little bit of money to play around and buy recipes from the vendors, flip on the auction house. So the methods I would recommend when you're just getting started, you just hit level 25. First of all, of course, questing. Questing, when you are 25, when you're max level, you get bonus gold based on the XP you would have gotten from the quest. So that's a great way to start up your nest egg, start up your money-making journey. After doing some questing, I would also recommend Dark Iron Ordnance Farming. So you can make between 6 to 8 gold per hour from this farm. It's just like the, the Winterfall Echo Farming. This is how I made my first 100 gold. And really, the more money you start with, the more you can do on the auction house, the more you can do with the vendors. It just snowballs your money-making process so much. On top of the Dark Iron Ordnance Farming, I also did something that you can do right now, which is the DMF Vendor Camping. I got this idea from Sarth watching his stream, and it has made me over 200 gold very easily. Just park a bunch of level 1 alts at the Darkmoon Fair, you can layer swap, you can camp, you can set timers for yourself, and you can buy all the scrolls of strength, the scrolls of agility, there's so many good items at the Darkmoon Fair. What's cool is you could just send a character over there with like 30 silver and come back later that day, you have 30 gold worth of items to sell. Once you've built up a stack of gold, this is where you can do some really cool money-making flips involving people being really lazy in the game. So the first one is the Chrono Boon Flip. So in places like Orgrimmar, on my high-leveled character, I can get Chrono Boons for 18 silver each. During the peak hours, these consistently can sell for 28 to 30 silver each. I've sold over 100 Chrono Boons across all of my characters, and it is a consistent money-maker. You might think nobody is lazy enough to get a Chrono Boon on the auction house, but trust me, even myself, knowing where the vendor is, I was too lazy one day. I bought three Chrono Boons on the auction house. If you really think about it, people aren't buying that many consumables on the auction house, but one thing they have to have when they go in the raid is the Chrono Boon. You don't want to lose your Dark Moon Fair buff with your 10% damage, and you don't want to lose that insane Boon of the Black Fathom buff either. Some people are going to do stupid things. They're going to overbuy Chrono Boons, and they're going to put them for like 18 silver on the auction house. But trust me, most days you can sell these for 10 silver profit margin very consistently. Another example of an infinite item you can get would be something like the Nightcrawlers. So people need Nightcrawlers for the Aquadynamic Fish Attractor. And believe it or not, most people in the game are fishing right now, so that's a very, very quick selling item to make. So sure, making the Aquadynamic Fish Attractor is great, but just selling the Nightcrawlers alone actually can make you a 3 times profit margin as well. There are so many items from vendors with unlimited stock that you can just flip all day long and they're consistently going to sell. Another example of that would be the Heavy Crocolis Stew recipe. Of course, most people know the Heavy Crocolis Stew is the best food in the game, the 8 Spirit, the 8 Stamina. But the recipe from Dustwallow Marsh is kind of a pain to get. On Horde side, you can flip that for anywhere to 2-3 to three times profit margin, getting maybe 60-80 to 80 silver per recipe. On Alliance side, though, people are so desperate, so you can sell these on the neutral auction house for more profit. Sometimes they can sell for even 3-4 to four gold each. Another example of an unlimited item flip would be the new Invoker recipes. You can get these from Orgrimmar or Darnassus, and people really don't know where to get them. I've been making 10 to 15 silver profit margin on these recipes, and they sell pretty quickly. To me, though, you shouldn't just copy these items. You should find your own items out there that people are buying consistently, and you can flip them for big profit. Once you've got a nice consistent driver like the Chrono Boon flips, I also recommend the Waylaid Supply Arbitrage. So by now, you probably know about the Waylaid Supplies. You get the Waylaid Supply from maybe a chest in the open world, maybe a mob, and then you turn it in for some reputation. The thing about this is, if you fill in the box, of course, you get more reputation. So a lot of people out there, they don't want to waste time going back and getting more boxes. They want to get the additional reputation. So they're going to fill these boxes out no matter what the price is. There is so much money to be made in Waylaid Supplies right now. The secret is to not just know which items fill the boxes, but exactly the amounts that fill the boxes. So an example of this would be the smoked bear meat. 
Now, cooking smoked bear meat typically would not be very profitable, but when you sell them in stacks of 20 for the waylight supplies, you can make two to three silver per bear meat. Another example would be the heavy wool bandage. You might think you should sell them in stacks of 20, but the actual correct amount is 15. You can easily make 15 to 20 gold a day just from doing this kind of flip, and it's really easy. Another really good example is the ornate spyglasses. These typically have a 20 silver profit margin, and people are always buying them for the waylight supply box. My recommendation would be to have characters with every single profession. I'm currently working on alts for all the professions, and I highly recommend you do the same thing as well. Alright, so all of these methods have made me hundreds of gold, but I want to give you my very best method right now. This is the method that has made me over 400 gold very easily. The solution is Dark Moon Fair boxes. Now, people really aren't buying consumables when they raid. They're kind of just saving their gold. But one thing people do, especially gold buyers, is they will always want to have maximum size bags. So people are going in, they're buying bags, and the Dark Moon Fair box is a 14-slot bag that is really easy to get. You can do these repeatable quests, and there's no limitation to how many times you can do them. I've got a very useful spreadsheet that will tell you exactly which items you can turn in. The way it works is basically you turn in crafted items and then you get Dark Moon Fair tickets. With 50 tickets, you can buy a Dark Moon storage box and sell it on the auction house. The key here is that you can only have one box in your inventory at the same time. However, you can have unlimited in the mailbox. So for example, right now I'm doing Whirring Bronze Gizmos and I need seven of them to get four tickets. Now, sometimes you can get a Darkman storage box for 5 gold using these items, and then you can flip it for 15 gold or even more than that. I'm consistently making 6 to 7 gold per box every single day, and I sell anywhere from 10 to 15 a day. The big secret is to only put them in for 2 hours at a time. That way you can cancel and undercut. You always want to be the top box on the auction house. So the Dark Moon box strat is a really good way to make money, and if you follow all of these methods, you can easily make hundreds of gold per week. So I just gave you some of my very best gold making methods for free. I would love to get a thumbs up in return, or maybe a subscription to the channel. I would also love if you checked out my ultimate exploits guide. It's got some very good methods out there for even more gold making that the best players are doing right now.